In today's video, we're going to talk about a little special purchase I made not too long ago. It doesn't have its own like dedicated haul, but I wanted to talk about it and how like I'm going to style it. Um, I'm kind of getting these pieces that are a bit different, so they kind of like make my outfits pop a bit more and just they're just a lot more fun. So we will go into it and you can probably see it right here. A Maj Heart leather jacket. Now, Maj and Sandro have been making jackets like this for a while now. I think Sandro at one point had a navy one with stars on it. This past spring summer season collection, um, Maj came out with the black heart one and a lot of bloggers have this jacket. It was actually one of our customers. She came in with it and I was like, that looks amazing on you after that like i literally saw it everywhere on the internet it just started popping up left right and center sarah denise love her she's amazing follow her on instagram if you don't um i am choquette but i love her style as well too and honestly i see why like so many people are turning on to like things that are a bit more unique and different and this piece is literally that. I'm just gonna quickly talk about it and then we'll go into the outfit styling portion. So it is an 100% leather jacket and this one was retailing for $8.55 Canadian, um, but it did go on sale for like half price for like everybody. This is actually my first real leather jacket. Wow. I picked mine up in a size French 38, uh, which is roughly about a US size 6, but keep in mind uh, when you first, or if you did try on this jacket, I know it's a little bit off season right now, I'll try and find a link for it and post it down below if it's still available. This does run pretty small when you first originally put it on. Um, it does feel like very snug, but you have to keep in mind that it's leather and it will kind of like stretch not stretch out like an entire size but it will kind of give a bit um, based on your movement and everything and I originally wanted this in a 40 a girl who works at like All Saints was literally like girl I don't know you don't even need the 40 like just take the 38 38 is your size I think I had tried on the 40 in front of her and she was like it's it's gaping in the back like by the time you you really start wearing it like it's gonna stretch out even more I'm not gonna lie part of me slightly regrets not getting the 40 because I wanted to fit like a really chunky sweater underneath it but at the same time this jacket fits so slim fitting I'm not even sure if I could have fit like a sweater under that one but anyways with a collar and then these have like button snaps so that the collar stays down because it is quite a smushy soft leather so you wouldn't want like the collar to really like lose like much of its shape oh wow new way to style okay yeah you could actually pop that up if you want it um and then it just has like the white leather hearts all throughout when i first got it i was a little bit like mm, because you could tell there was some like wear on some of the like white hearts like it's a real leather jacket it's bound to it has like the zip front it has two pockets and it features kind of like a cropped body design it's not super cropped where like it kind of like comes to your tiniest part but it it almost comes like right above the hip like where your kind of natural waist is where you like place most of your belts and the hearts kind of like repeat in the back as well too and yeah like I honestly I couldn't ask for more in this jacket and it's literally like what my wardrobe needed now we shall get into the outfits so this scene might look a little bit familiar because it is um I styled this dress in my like ugly unboxing video and I really thought it would go so perfectly with the Maj jacket. I know a lot of people are doing like the tea, the matching like tea dresses with them but I just thought like this like very bohemian like pretty smock dress would be so nice with like an edgier leather jacket and of course it would match because of the hearts and I think oh yeah I really like that. And this is like a really safe way to wear this jacket too, if you have it or if you plan on picking it up if it's still available. Cute, like the little skirt part kind of like flares up because <laughs> it's like cropped, the jacket. This could be easily worn for like a daytime event or like a little dinner you might have. And I think it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I really like this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Zipped up, it's so cute. You could wear it with a nice like poofy skirt as well too that's a little bit shorter and that would like give you a nice look as well. This outfit is kind of like girly meets edgy a bit. I don't really wear skirts often but I still, this is one of my favorite skirts that I own and this outfit is like 
all Judith and Charles, which is my old job. It's like lightweight, but meets chunky at the same time, so it doesn't overheat you. Well, it actually does get pretty warm. It's 100% wool, but just something like this. So again, a really neutral outfit to kind of like balance out some of the other colorful outfits I'll have. I think this is a really easy like daytime look. You could also take this for dinner as well too. That's kind of like the basis of most of my outfits. Like I like them to look daytime appropriate, still kind of cool, but also could be worn to like nighttime events as well. And then I thought I'd make it a bit edgy and wear these kind of like... Givenchy-esque boots. <laughs> These are just from Zara. I got them last year and I actually cut them. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna be wearing them this year as well too. I like them so much that they've kind of like influenced me to like save up for a designer pair. There's like a few on my wish list right now, um, which I will probably share in a, another video. I actually want to make. So that's the awkwardness of these boots. Like I cut them this high. <laughs> But sometimes I don't like the way they cut me off, so you can see this and get an idea of the look. I usually don't wear stuff like this on a day to day, but like if I'm feeling kind of edgy, but I want to be girly at the same time, like one day I'll just, I'll probably wear this. Yeah. This is the outfit. And it's like easily fall appropriate. You can literally throw on some tights if you need to and like be out the door. This next outfit is kind of vintage inspired. Like I feel like people in the 90s would wear stuff like this. Like they always wore turtlenecks with like high-waisted straight leg jeans. But I just love the combination of like the red and the light wash. If you are an older subscriber you would know this turtleneck from last year. I thrifted it and honestly it is still going strong. Like I have not even seen a really nice red turtleneck like this in like current stores obviously i will try and find you guys an alternative and link it down below i will show you the shoes that i am wearing with it in a second take a while to guess we're going to put this jacket on top i like the unexpectedness of the red and the light wash with it against the black and the white i just with this jacket, I purposely didn't want to buy it just to be matchy-matchy. I wanted to wear unique, different outfits with it. So I think it's really cool like this over the shoulders. But for this outfit specifically, I wanted to wear it on. And then I actually wanted to see how it would look all done up. I feel like that's kind of cool. And then that way you get like the pop of like the red turtleneck at the top and like you just mainly see me wearing like light wash denim. For my shoes, we are going to be wearing my ugly sneakers from Sandro. I really wanted like a cool edgy daytime outfit that I could easily wear to like school um, and just not be kind of like so black jeans and a white t-shirt. I just wanted something different from that. Even pull out the sleeves a bit so you can see more of the red. And yeah, these sleeves are a little bit cropped, so yeah. Wow, I feel like this outfit is so Sandro. I feel like I'm getting brainwashed. <laughs> Recently on their Instagram, if you follow them, like they post so many like vintage like straight leg jeans and like their chunky um, ugly sneakers and then, I don't know, just like a turtleneck. We have a, a lot of turtlenecks this season. I guess I subconsciously got influenced by them, but honestly created it on my own and I love the red turtleneck um, that this brings. Ooh, Sandro actually has a red turtleneck right now this season, so I will link that bo down below. And I like the red turtleneck so much, I might even wear it like zipped down or unzipped. I don't know. Actually, I kind of like it unzipped now. I don't know, it's cool either way. Any way you do it, I feel like a nice colorful pop underneath would be really nice. Pretty much this entire outfit here is thrifted, the turtleneck and the jeans. Like I just said, my Sandro sneakers and my Maj leather jacket. On to the next one. Okay, so this is my hot gal outfit. If you ever need a little outfit and you're going out for drinks, and you're just trying to wear like a bodysuit or whatever. I need to like step my bodysuit game up, but this one I have here is from Aritzia, um, and I just bought it the other day. It's by Wilfred Free, and it's just like your generic like black bodysuit. It has like a scoop back, not exactly a square neck, but like slightly squoval. 
and it just has these like medium size straps you actually could get away with wearing a bra with this one but with my bodysuits, I kind of don't want to have to worry about that. You would have to also be careful because it is a low back, but you could wear like pasties or like something that's backless as well too. And then I'm wearing it with my rag and bone scarf. I literally always wear a scarf like this when I go out because like I just feel like my neck is so bare and like boring, so I just always throw on a scarf. And then I'm wearing this skirt which i made and i will link to the video of it and yeah i just love it so much it's like a thrifted pair of men's calvin klein jeans which i made into a denim skirt and it's just a good go-to <laughs> i usually tend to wear my jackets over my shoulders like when i go out at night and yeah i just honestly i just want to say how much i love this jacket again like i feel like when people look at me when i wear it like they instantly like feel love <laughs> and like happiness like they always like smile so much at me it's so weird like I won't be doing anything like my jacket will legit do all the talking and it makes people happy so yeah my jacket loves you too as well yeah that works as well too if you want it to be practical but I like it just swung over the shoulders preferably and then also for reference as well too I'm wearing this bodysuit in a size small I actually had picked up one of their red ones which I wore in a past video in like a medium and it just wasn't like slim enough it just and it just didn't didn't hold the girls enough so size down in their bodysuits I feel like just so you at least get that like slimming effect and then this one is also a thong back which helps with underwear lines because who wants those not I for a night out who wouldn't wear anything else but a sock boot so yeah I have my like pricier pair of sock boots from Loa Florandel but I'm so glad I picked up these like cheap ones from Steve Madden so I can just like trot around in them and don't have to worry about what spills on them or just anything that happens so I like these so much and the shape of them are really really nice from my previous video like they didn't sell out so I will try and link them down below if they are available legit on sale for like 60 bucks and they're so comfortable and they don't look cheap at all but yeah this is my little night out outfit and how I would wear this jacket outfit this is my favorite outfit out of all of the ones in this video like I don't know it's so crazy how I really wouldn't be wearing something like this a year ago but this was kind of like the motivation for buying this jacket I wanted to clash a really cool print with it and I think this works so well so obviously because like the green and orange floral jumpsuit isn't exactly the same color as like the white and black uh, leather jacket I wanted to kind of balance it out with this solid white turtleneck that I'm wearing from Uniqlo it's literally like I think this thing is like 20 bucks um, I'm not like in love with the fit of it but it does the job and it like keeps me warm and I think it's like cotton or whatever I love this necklace I always wear it it's like just the necklace I had from birth this green Sandro jumpsuit which I featured in one of my hauls um, if you guys haven't seen it but I will link something similar down below or a similar style of jumpsuit or dress because there's so many of these ditzy floral um, jumpsuits or like just dresses or patterned silk pieces online at the moment I'm just so glad I can bring this jumpsuit into the fall like I bought it not that long ago and I only wore it a few times when it was warm out so I just I want to get my wear, um, my cost per wear out of it. It has pockets, which is just amazing. And this outfit is just so comfy. I don't know, I just like outfits that look styled, but not overly styled. And they're just so chill and comfy because it's like, you look good and you don't look like you're about to fall over in your heels at the same time. I am wearing these old... Well, old, a few years old. I'm not sure what Air Maxes these are, but, um, because I'm not like a sneakerhead. But yeah, they're actually like an ID pair and they just say I for style on the back of them. Um, yeah, I think they're really sick. And I haven't pulled them out in years and it's making me sad because they're slightly yellowing on some of like the tips. I don't know if you guys 
are like sneaker peeps but like let me know how i can fix that the whole chunky sneaker trend is back and it's better and i was just about to buy a pair from maj but i might not anymore i might just literally wear these because i think they're giving me the desired look that i need i love them with the flared wide leg i just think they're so sick and i like the fact that the leg drapes over them and they give me enough height so that the pants don't drag on the floor the pants to be honest i'm five seven so they don't drag on the floor regardless but yeah i just like i like this outfit a lot like my favorite hands down yeah this outfit is just too good i have to wear this like this weekend or something Oh, maybe I can wear it with this. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is actually so cute together too. Okay, I would actually wear this and kind of like make it a little bit more girly, like with the top handle bag. But yeah, I meant to show you guys this bag with like the little night out outfit. Um, but yeah, this could work for this as well too. But yeah, this is my final outfit and my favorite look overall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click my face to subscribe um, if you're not subscribed and watch these other videos that you may have missed. These types of videos honestly have inspired me to be more of like the style and the eye for style because like I don't want to promote buying too many things, you know, hence my other video. Uh, let's be real, I love buying things but I really want to start utilizing what I have in my wardrobe and show you guys that you guys can as well too. Follow me on these other socials, especially my Instagram, just so you get more inspiration there as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Take care.